The most insane AI news. Google just dropped three AI tools in one week. Elon's XAI made their smartest model ever. And Anthropic built an AI that can actually control your computer. If you're not using these tools, you're already behind. I'm breaking down all six major AI releases from the last two weeks and showing you exactly which one you need to use right now. Okay, so here's why you need to watch this entire video. In the last two weeks, we got six massive AI releases, not just updates, complete game changers. We're talking about Gemini 3 with a new thinking mode that makes it smarter than anything Google's ever made. Grok 4.1 that's 33% faster and can actually show you how it thinks. Google Anti-Gravity, a platform where AI agents can control your entire coding workflow. Nano Banana Pro that generates 4K images from simple text prompts. Claude Opus 4.5 that can literally control a computer interface for you. And Notebook LM that now creates slide decks and infographics automatically. Every single one of these is available right now. And by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly which tool solves your biggest problem. Whether you're creating content, building software, doing research or running a business, there's a tool here that's going to save you hours every single week. Let's start with the first bomb that dropped on November 17th. Google just released Gemini 3, and this isn't just another model update. This is Google saying we're back in the game. Gemini 3 is officially their smartest AI model ever made. It can understand text, images, video, audio, and code all at the same time. That's what we call multimodal. But here's where it gets really interesting. They added something called Gemini 3 Deep Think mode. This mode makes the AI actually think harder about complex problems. It's like giving your AI a turbo boost for reasoning. So if you're working on something really complicated, like a business strategy or a technical problem, this thing can break it down better than anything we've seen before. And it's not just sitting in some lab somewhere. You can use it right now across Google products. It's rolling out as Gemini 3 Pro in preview mode. And November 17th, XAI dropped Grok 4.1. Talk about competition. Elon's team at XAI didn't come to play around. Grok 4.1 has two modes now, thinking mode and non-thinking mode. The thinking mode is where this gets wild. It ranks in the top three on the LM Arena text leaderboard. That's basically the Olympics for AI models. But speed was always a problem with these thinking models, right? They fixed it. Grok 4.1 is 33% faster when it gives you that first response. And when you need it to write something long, like 500 words, it's 25% faster overall. That's a massive improvement. Here's what I love about this update, though. The multi-step reasoning got way better. So when you ask it to solve a math problem or analyze something complex, it actually shows you how it's thinking. It breaks down each step. It flags problems before they happen. It catches edge cases that most AIs would miss. And they made it more emotionally intelligent too. Better creative writing, less hallucinations, which means it makes up fewer fake facts. You can try it on grok.com, on the X platform, or through their API. Okay, now wait, because two days later, on November 19th, Google came back with another announcement. They publicized something called Google Anti-Gravity. This one's different from everything else we're talking about today. Anti-Gravity isn't a chat model. It's a developer platform built specifically for AI agents. Think of it like a control center where multiple AI agents can work together. One agent might refactor your code. Another one updates your user interface. They all work together automatically. But here's the game changer feature. Most AI tools just give you chat logs, right? Anti-gravity gives you something they call the artifacts system. It produces actual verifiable proof of what it did. Screenshots, screen recordings, implementation plans, you can actually see what changed. And these agents don't just work in one place. They can control your code editor, your terminal, and your browser all at the same time. There's even a visual feedback system where you can point at things on your screen and tell the AI what to do. Like literally draw arrows and circles and say, do this here. Plus it has something called project memory. The AI learns how you like to code, your style, your preferences, your patterns. Over time, it gets better at helping you specifically and even though it's built by Google, you're not locked into just using Gemini. You can plug in other models and tools too. This is huge for developers who want to automate boring tasks. And the next day, November 20th, Google strikes again. They launched Nano Banana Pro. Some people are calling it Gemini 3 Pro Image. This is their AI image generator, and it just got a massive upgrade. The old version had some problems. Text and images looked blurry. You were stuck with one aspect ratio, not anymore. Nano Banana Pro now supports multiple formats. You can generate images in 2K resolution. You can generate images in 4K resolution. Perfect for social media, perfect for professional work. But the editing features 
what really stand out here? You can tell it to change the camera angle with just your words. Adjust the color grading, fix the lighting and shadows, all through a conversation with the AI. No complex photo editing software needed. This is designed to help people make social media content fast. High quality visual content without needing to be a graphic designer. Now here's where things get really exciting for a lot of you watching this. Three days later, on November 23rd, Anthropic released Claude Opus 4.5. This is their flagship model. Maximum intelligence, but at a more accessible price than before. If you're in business, if you're coding, if you're doing anything complex, this model is built for you. The reasoning capabilities are through the roof. The coding abilities are better than ever. But there's one feature that's absolutely wild. Enhanced computer use capabilities. Claude can now actually control a computer interface. And they added a new zoom action so it can zoom in on specific parts of a user interface to inspect details. Think about what this means. You could have an AI assistant that actually clicks buttons for you, fills out forms for you, navigates websites for you. And here's a cool detail. When you're having a long conversation with Claude Opus 4.5, it maintains continuity. All the previous thinking blocks stay in the conversation. So it remembers its reasoning from earlier. This makes it perfect for professional software engineers, financial analysts who need to crunch numbers and explain their work, consultants building complex strategies, anyone building advanced AI agents, Anthropic basically said we're making the smartest AI more accessible to people who actually need to get work done. Now, the last update is one that's been rolling out since late October, but keeps getting better. Notebook LM, if you haven't tried this yet, you're missing out. Notebook LM is Google's AI research assistant, and the recent updates made it insanely powerful. First, they expanded the context capacity. It now has Gemini's full 1 million token window. That's a huge amount of information it can handle at once. You can have way deeper conversations now, over six times more capacity than before. So if you're researching something, if you're going through a massive pile of documents, Notebook LM can actually find connections and synthesize information across all of it. The responses are more coherent, more nuanced, more trustworthy. And here's a feature not everyone knows about yet. You can set custom user goals. So you tell Notebook LM what you're trying to accomplish and it adapts the entire notebook to help you get there faster. But wait, there's more. Notebook LM now includes some advanced features that are game changers for anyone doing research or presentations. You can now create slide decks automatically. You can generate infographics all from your notebook content. So let's say you've been researching a topic, dumping articles and documents into Notebook LM. Now you can tell it to turn all that research into a presentation. It synthesizes the information and creates visually appealing slides for you. Or maybe you need an infographic for social media or a report. Notebook LM will take your complex data and turn it into an easy to understand visual. This makes it way more than just a research tool. It's becoming a full productivity assistant that can take you from research all the way to finished visual content. Perfect for students, marketers, consultants, anyone who needs to present information clearly. So let me tie all of this together for you. In less than two weeks, we've got six major AI updates. Gemini 3 with deep think mode for hardcore reasoning, Grok 4.1 with faster thinking and better accuracy, Google anti-gravity for developers who want AI agents doing the heavy lifting, Nano Banana Pro for creating professional images with simple prompts, Claude Opus 4.5 for business professionals who need maximum intelligence and computer control and Notebook LM with expanded capacity and visual content generation. This isn't just incremental improvement. This is AI taking a massive leap forward all at once. Every one of these tools is available right now. You don't need to wait. You don't need special access. You can start using them today. And here's what I want you to think about. Each of these models is designed for different things. Gemini 3, if you need deep understanding across multiple types of content. Grok 4.1, if you want fast thinking with emotional intelligence. Anti-gravity, if you're a developer tired of repetitive tasks. Nano Banana Pro, if you're creating visual content for marketing or social media. Claude Opus 4.5, if you're doing serious professional work and need an AI that can actually use a computer. Notebook LM, if you're drowning in research and need help making sense of it all. Plus, you need to create presentations or visuals from your research. The key is knowing which tool to use for what job. And honestly, you'll probably end up using multiple tools depending on what you're working on. That's the beauty of this moment in AI. We're not stuck with one option anymore. We have specialized tools for specialized jobs, all of them incredibly powerful, all of them accessible right now. So. so what should you do with this information? First, pick the tool that matches your biggest pain point right now. If you're spending too much time on research, start with Notebook LM. If you need to automate parts of your business, look at anti-gravity. 
if you're creating content. Try Gemini 3 or Nano Banana Pro. If you need serious analytical power, go with Claude Opus 4.5 or Grok 4.1. Don't try to learn everything at once. Pick one, get good at it, then add another tool to your workflow. Second, start small. Give yourself one task where you let AI help you completely. See how much time it saves, see how much better the output is, then expand from there.